So we're going to continue looking at electrophilic aromatic substitution on substituted benzene rings. The next molecule that we're going to be looking at is a benzene ring substituted with a nitro group. I am going to be using NO2 plus again as the electrophile, but just as a reminder, what we're talking about here um, is going to carry through no matter what electrophile we're using. So just like in the last couple of videos, we want to consider the mechanisms of putting the new nitro group in the ortho position, also in the meta position, and then last but not least in the para position as well. We're looking at these mechanisms and the first thing that we want to look for is which um, or what do these mechanisms have in common? Can we find mechanisms that have something in common? In the last video where we were looking at the nitration of anisole, we saw that the ortho and the para mechanisms had a fourth resonance structure. So that was something that they had in common. We don't see that here. Um, in the first video, when we were looking at nitrating toluene, we saw that one of the one of the structures in the intermediate had a more stable carbocation than the others. So let's take a look at our carbocations and see what we're working with here. Um, this one is secondary. This one is also secondary. This one is also secondary. This is attached, bonded to two carbon atoms. In our meta, secondary, secondary, and secondary, and in our para secondary, secondary, secondary. So we can't, we can't um, use that to help us distinguish these like we have been able to do previously. So what are we looking for? This one's actually quite a bit harder to see. In the ortho mechanism, when that positive charge is up at the top of the ring, notice that the positively charged carbon is bonded directly to a positively charged nitrogen. When we have two atoms that are directly attached to each other with opposing charges, this is an extremely unstable situation for these intermediates. Having these side by side, full blown positive formal charges is really hard on this molecule. This is an extremely bad resonance structure, like really, really bad. We don't see that bad resonance structure in the meta uh, mechanism at all. So the what these reactions have in common, the ortho and the para reactions have in common, is the adjacent directly attached positive carbon directly bonded to a positive nitrogen. So we're going to make a no note of this. The ortho and the para mechanisms, what do they have in common? We have a positively charged carbon that's bonded directly to a positively charged nitrogen. So with that in mind, of these mechanisms, which one would we expect to see take place? Well, this uh, resonance structure right here is so bad, it's almost like it doesn't even contribute, like it doesn't even really count. And so if we think about it like that, like this really bad resonance structure not counting, then that means that the meta mechanism has three decent resonance structures, while the ortho and the para only have two. And because of that, the meta mechanism is definitely going to be preferred because its sigma complex is in general more stable. That is the answer to the last question down here. The new substituent would go into the meta position because its sigma complex is more stable because it has no positively charged carbon bonded to a positively charged nitrogen. The last question, which I skipped over, um, is asking about the rate of this reaction with, when the nitro group is present. So does the nitro group speed up or slow down the reaction? And here we're going to be focusing specifically on the meta mechanism because we've decided that this is the mechanism that will actually occur. The nitro group um, is very electronegative. It's got an electronegative nitrogen and an oxygen and another oxygen. And because of that, it's going to be withdrawing a lot of electron density from the ring towards the nitro group. And this is actually a bad thing because the ring is already positively charged to begin with. So we've got that nitro group that's pulling electron density away from a positively charged intermediate. That's a bad combination. And because of that, this is going to slow the reaction down. The reaction is going to be slower because the electronegative nitro group, and I'm talking specifically about the one that's already on the ring, not the E+. Plus. The uh, electronegative nitro group will withdraw electron density from the ring which is already electron deficient. 
So it just takes a bad situation and it makes it worse. Already. Only has one D. Already electron deficient.